After that meeting in Central Park, did there come a time when you had another meeting with Rosemond? Yes, we met up about a week and a half later, Columbus Circle. We ended up going inside of Whole Foods. Columbus Circle in Manhattan? Yes. You said that was a week after your initial meeting with Rosemond in Central Park? About a week and a half later, it was either a Wednesday or Thursday the following week. And how was this meeting arranged? The same way the other meeting was arranged, I received a text message. He told me to meet him at a certain vicinity. We may have had a phone call in between to confirm I was on my way and then we met up. What phone were you using for these communications? The phone I bought from Fordham Road. The Iraqis Thibodeau phone? Yes. Did you go to Whole Foods? I did. Who was there? Roseman was there. Anyone else? Not that I saw. Can we show the witness in sequence what has been pre-marked for identification as Government Exhibit 656A, 655L, and 655H? These three photographs, what do they show? They show the entrance, escalator, and the, I guess, vestibule of the Whole Foods at Columbus Circle where Roseman and I met up. The government offers government exhibit 656A, 655L, and 655H. Give me the letters again. 656A, 655L, and 655H. 656A, 655L, and 655H are received. Thank you, Your Honor. We request permission to publish for the government exhibit 656A. The jury can now see this. Can you describe for the jury what we're looking at? We're looking at the entrance at Columbus Circle to Whole Foods. Is this where you met up with Roseman that day? Yes. Can we take a look, please? Publish 655L. What is this? This is the escalator right inside that leads down to the Whole Foods. When you met with Roseman that day, where did you and him go? We went down the escalator into Whole Foods. This escalator we see in this photo here? Yes. Can we publish Government Exhibit 655H? What are we looking at in this photo? The same, just a different view of the same escalator. In this photo, can you see where you and Roseman met after you went down the escalator? Yes, right where it says Sweet and Spice, we were in that general location. Okay, during this encounter, what happened? During this encounter, Roseman wanted to talk further about the line I had on Lodi Mac. What did he say? Tell me about the conversation. What did he say and what did you say? When we first stepped inside, he said, I like to meet here because it doesn't have a signal. It doesn't allow you to have a signal. And as I looked at my phone going on the escalator, I noticed I didn't have a signal on my phone. So now we went off to the side where it's closed in the area of Sweet and Spice. And he started asking me about the line I had on Lowell Fletcher, Lodi Mac, and described to him that there's an individual who knows him who sort of had an issue with him anyway. And they had the same lawyer and they know the same people and he can definitely get us next to him. And he said, okay, because I have $30,000 for anybody that brings him to me. Did he say anything else? He said, I have $30,000 for anybody who brings him to me because I'm going to hit him so hard and so fast, he's not going to see it coming. Let's talk about that for a second. When he said, I have $30,000 for anybody who could bring him to me, who is him? Who does he want brought? Lowell Fletcher, Lodi Mac. He says, when Roseman said he's going to hit him, what's, what was the phrase? So hard and so fast, he's not going to see it coming. What did you take that to mean? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Your Honor, if we could go to sidebar, I can explain why. I think we have an appropriate foundation for this and that this is permission under cases Your Honor brought to our attention. All right, let's take our morning break here and I'll talk to the lawyers. Judge, should we bring the witness in? Yes. Have a seat. We're going to ask you some questions outside of the presence of the jury so that I can rule on an issue of law. Go ahead, Ms. Stranzer. 
Mr. McLeod, in a meeting that you were just talking about in front of the jury, the meeting at Whole Foods with Rosemond, can you describe for the jury what statements were made? What did Rosemond say? What did you say? Give us the conversation. Jimmy asked me about basically, do I trust the individual and the information who I said I had a line on, Lodi Mac? And when I confirmed that I did and gave him a little history and background on those two, he said, okay, because I have $30,000 for anybody who will bring Lodi Mac to me. And, you know, I took that as he said, because I'm going to hit him so hard and so fast, he's not going to know what hit him. What did you say in response? I didn't say anything. I just kind of looked at him and then I thought about it and said, wait, you're going to do this yourself? You're thinking about doing this yourself? What did he say? He said, yeah, well, like, you know, what are you thinking? I said, well, I talked to D the other day. What did he say to that? He said, D, wow, I haven't, what's up with D? I haven't seen D in a while. He said, like, over three years. He said, okay, all right, yeah, go talk to D and see what's up. Let me know. I said, okay. Okay, now I want to ask you about certain of those statements and your opinions about what they meant. When Roseman said to you, I have 30000 for you to bring Lodi Mac to me, do you have an opinion about what that meant? Well, he said, I have 30000 for anyone who brings him to me. And what he meant was, I have $30,000 for the person that brings Lodi Mac to me to be shot. I'm going to ask you the basis for that in one second. When he says, I'm going to hit him so hard and so fast, do you have an opinion about what that meant? He was going to shoot him quickly by surprise, unexpectedly. Okay, now the opinions you gave interpreting these two statements, what is that based on? Based upon the nature of the conversation and how upset he is that someone has assaulted his son. Was it, did you have other conversations prior to this with the defendant? Well, in front of Central Park, there's been a kind of campaign of tit-for-tat hits and retaliations directed at G-Unit, the cars, the house. This is one more thing. Is that part of your basis for your opinion as to the meaning of that statement? Yes. And then you said, you said to Roseman, you're thinking of doing this yourself? Right. What did you mean by that? Like with all the surveillance and as big of a target as you know you are, and with all the agencies looking at you and possibly also Lodimac seeing you and recognizing you, you're going to do this yourself? You're going to shoot him yourself? And when the defendant said, yeah, well, what are you thinking? Do you have an opinion about what that meant? Yes. I'll skip that, Judge. It's self-evident. When you said I talked to D the other day, what did you mean by that? I'm suggesting that D could be the shooter. Who is D? Derek Grant. Why did you suggest that Derek Grant is the shooter? He's an individual who Jimmy would trust and an individual who I introduced to Jimmy and an individual I would trust. Had Grant done any violence for Jimmy in the past? Yes. What? namely the Violator Studio thing, and he has acted as a defector security on a couple of occasions. You are talking about the shooting that Grant described to you in the early 2000s? Yes. Where he put shots at the Violator Records office? Yes. Your Honor, do you need an opinion as to what's up with D? Go talk to D. I think that's self-evident. I don't think there is an opinion. He either said it or he didn't. Unless your honor has questions, let me just ask one thing. The events that happened after that conversation, are they consistent? Do they confirm your interpretation of what Roseman said, or are they inconsistent? Which events are you referring to? I think this is no longer helpful. Okay, then that is it, your honor. Yes, I take the objection to be directed to two things. A question as to the witness's opinion as to what the defendant meant with respect to the statements that he had 30000 for anybody to bring him to me and I'm going to hit him, etc. The first opinion. I guess that really covers both what he meant by I have 30000 for someone or anyone 
and the hard and fast. I'm going to sustain those objections. I am not going to allow that and I don't have to, I think, say any more than that. The objection is sustained. All right, let's get the jury. Okay, the jurors and the defendant all are present. Ladies and gentlemen, I sustain the objection to the last questions, so we will continue. I appreciate your patience while we dealt with that issue. Can we please publish Government Exhibit 655H? Mr. McLeod, before the break, you were describing a meeting you had with Rosemond here by the sweet spiced area in the lower level of the Whole Foods by Central Park. Do you remember that? Yes. Can you describe for the jury what Rosemond said to you and what you said to him during this meeting? He spoke to me about did I trust the individual who I mentioned earlier that I said I had a line on Lowell Fletcher or Lodi Mac and I gave him some background in how they were connected and yes, I do trust him. What did Rosemond say at that point? He said, okay, because I have $30,000 for anyone who will bring Lowell Fletcher, Lodi Mac to me. Did he say anything else? I am going to hit him so hard and so fast, he's not going to know what hit him. What, if anything, did you say in response? Are you thinking about doing this yourself? You are going to do this yourself? What did you mean by that? Sustained. Your Honor, I think this is his perception. This is what he means by his own statement. I understand that, but that's not evidence of what Roseman understood him to mean. It's Mr. Roseman's intention that is at issue and his knowledge. Let's move on. I am asking the witness. I heard it. All right. So you said to him, you're thinking of doing this yourself? Yes. What was Roseman's response? Yeah. What were you thinking? I said, I spoke to D the other day. When you said you spoke to D the other day, I'm not asking you about Roseman. When you said, I spoke to D the other day, what did you mean by that statement? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. What was Roseman's response? Okay, I haven't seen D in quite some time. I said, yeah. He said, like over three years. He said, okay, yeah, speak to D. Let me know how that goes. After that meeting, did there come a time when you met with Derek Grant? Yes. Why did you meet with Derek Grant? I met with Derek Grant at the behest of Jimmy. I mentioned Derek to Jimmy and he said, yeah, get in contact with D. Let me know how that goes. Where did you meet with Grant? At his house in the Bronx. Where was his house? East 174th Street, I think. Did he live alone? No, he lived with his girlfriend and her son in the basement, and her mother and grandmother lived. They shared the same house. They lived above, the floors above. What is the name of Grant's girlfriend? Michelle. Had you been to this apartment? How many times had you been to the place where Grant was living with his girlfriend, Michelle? Prior to that time? Sure. Maybe once or twice. Can we show the witness what have been pre-marked for identification as Government Exhibit 610A, B, and C? Yes. Do you recognize these photos? Yes. What do they show? Right now that the previous photos were the entire house, and right now this is the entrance to the basement where Derek and his girlfriend stayed. The government offers government exhibits 610A, B, and C. A, B, and C? Yes, Your Honor. Received. Can we publish for the jury government exhibit 610A? Yes. What do you see in this photo? I see the house where Derek and his girlfriend stayed. Which part of the house did Derek and his girlfriend Michelle stay in? Down the steps in the basement. Can we publish Government Exhibit 610C? Yes. What is this? This is the entrance. This is the door to where Derek and his girlfriend stayed. How long after your meeting with Rosemond in Whole Foods did you meet up with Grant? I think the next day. Where did you meet with him? 
I met with Grant right here at this house where the picture is. What happened during the meeting with Grant? I told D. I said, I spoke to Holmes yesterday. He said, okay, yeah, how is he doing? I said, yeah, he's good, he's good. I was telling him that I have a line on the individual that, you know, did that to his son. He said, for real? I said, yeah. I said, you know, this guy was talking about doing this himself. We both kind of looked at each other. He said, for real? I said, yeah, but I mentioned you. He said, what did he say? I said, he told me to talk to you to see if you was with it. He said, yeah, definitely. Let him know, yeah. And he asked me a couple of questions about, you know, the line, Kevin Chung. Okay, you said you told Grant you spoke to Holmes the other day? Uh-huh. Who is Holmes? Yes. You said you mentioned the line on the individual that did that to his son? Right. Whose son? Jimmy's son. And did that? What is that? Assaulted him. You said you mentioned to Grant that Holmes, Jimmy, was talking about doing this himself? Right. What did you mean by that? Objection. Sustained. Your Honor, can we approach at sidebar? Briefly. Mr. McLeod, you mentioned the conversation with Grant. You said you had told Grant you mentioned to him Rosemond, is that right? Yes. And what did Grant say in response? He said, okay, yeah. He talked about how he hadn't seen Jimmy in a while. He asked me how he was doing. And as I said, I mentioned to him that he's thinking about doing this himself. He said, really? Yeah, but I mentioned you, and he told me to talk to you to see what was up. So if you were with it. He said, okay, yeah, let him know that's a go. Yeah, I'm with that. Just so we're clear... Who asked you to speak with D? Rosemond asked me to speak to D. To see if he is with it. Who is he in that? Rosemond asked me to speak to Derek to see if Derek was with it. And did Derek agree? Yes. He was with it? Yes. Was there any other discussion in this meeting? I mentioned to him that he has 30000 for anybody who will bring, you know, Lodi to him. And he said, okay. And we kind of tossed around that it would have to be at least twice that much, if not more, because now D is involved and D's a shooter. Objection, Your Honor. No, overruled. Tell us about the conversation you had with Grant regarding whether more than 30000 was needed. Well, $30,000 is for me or anyone. Objection, Your Honor. Can we approach? We are trying to actually proceed with the trial here, Counselor. I understand that, Your Honor, but this... Just give me a minute. I will sustain that objection, but simply because the answer is unresponsive. Maybe you want to reframe your question. Tell us just what was said between you and Derek. The statements you and Derek made in your conversation about how much was needed for this shooting now that Grant is involved. Now that Grant is involved, it's more than 30000 because Grant is acting as the shooter. I'm the lurer and he's the shooter, so at the least, it's going to be $60,000. Can you recount to the best of your memory the statements you made and the statements Grant made? He has 30000 for anybody who is going to bring him to him. Now that we're doing a lot more, there's more involved. It has to be, it's got to be more than 30,000. It's got to be at least twice that amount, if not more, maybe even close to a hundred. Yeah, if that's true, because we are more involved now, we are doing more. Why is Grant being involved more than the $30,000 figure that was originally discussed? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Did you say in this conversation why $30,000 was? Scratch that. In that conversation, did you say why you believe $30,000 did not cover Grant being a shooter? Objection. Asked and answered twice already. Overruled. In this conversation, Jimmy was acting as the shooter in the original conversation. Derek is going to be the shooter, so he has to be paid for shooting. 
my fee, the lure fee would be consistent. But now I am actually recruiting a shooter, so I'm more involved and doing more work. After recruiting Grant as a shooter, did you inform Roseman? Yes, I did. What did you tell him? I informed him that I spoke to D, and D said that's a go. He's cool with that. What did Roseman say? He said okay. <laughs>